Hello everyone and welcome to another math tutorial. This video is going to be the third video in chapter 3. It's titled Postulates and Diagrams. In this video we're going to formalize some of the information that was talked about in chapter 1 with some postulates. We're going to practice using those postulates and we're also going to see if we can interpret information from geometric sketches or diagrams. The first two postulates are very similar in nature. Uh, we've got postulate 2.1, it's called the two-point postulate. It says through any two points there exists exactly one line. And so we see a diagram here to kind of illustrate that. We've got two points and we've got a line here. And then the second postulate, it's called line point postulate, says a line contains at least two points. Very, very similar in nature. What I'm going to do is write an example, a specific statement based off of this diagram here. And I'm going to do it for each of these two postulates so you kind of see the difference uh, between these two postulates. So here's the first one on the two-point postulate. So for the two-point postulate I wrote through points A and B, which is the first part of the statement here, the postulate, there exists line L, which is the second part. Now I'm going to show you what the line point postulate might look like for this specific diagram here. So for the line point postulate, I might write line L contains points A and B. So you can kind of see the differences between the two statements uh, and really it's just kind of the, the order in which uh, the information in the diagram is presented within the statement. Our next postulate is called the line intersection postulate and it states if two lines intersect then their intersection is exactly one point. So here I have a diagram illustrating two intersecting lines. The intersection is a point. I'm going to write a specific statement then that illustrates this postulate for this particular diagram. Okay, here's a couple statements that I could write specifically for this diagram that illustrate this postulate. I could say if lines M and N intersect, then their intersection is point C. I could say lines M and N intersect at point C. Our next two postulates are also very closely related, so I included them on the same slide and we'll write examples uh, of each of these for this diagram to kind of illustrate the differences between them. The first is the three-point postulate says through any three non-collinear points there exists exactly one plane. And then the plane point postulate says a plane contains at least three non-collinear points. So let me write a statement for each of these for this diagram and then we'll just compare how they're a little bit different. All right, so my three-point postulate specifically says for this diagram, through points D, E, and F, there exists plane R. And then my plane point postulate says plane R contains the three non-collinear points D, E, and F. So you, again, like the, the first slide where we had those first two postulates, you can really see it's the same information, just kind of the order in which the information is expressed uh, is a little bit different. The next postulate is the plane line postulate and it reads if two points lie in a plane then the line containing them lies in the plane. So specific to this diagram that we're looking at right here I might write a statement illustrating this postulate to read this. Alright so illustrating this postulate I have written if points D and E are in plane R, then line DE is in plane R. Our final postulate that we're going to present in this video is the plane intersection postulate. And it says if two planes intersect, then their intersection is a line. So let's write a statement to illustrate that postulate with this diagram right here. So I might write the intersection of plane S and plane T is line L. 
All right, these next couple of slides, there's an example problem or a set of example problems to, to, to answer. So we're gonna use this diagram here to write an example of each of the postulates that are on the next slide. So I'm gonna to have to kind of flip back and forth uh, between slides here. Actually, I'll probably just go to the next slide and I'll write out all the answers there. But if you have all of your notes in front of you and you've been taking notes, then you have the uh, all the postulates in front of you and you also will keep this picture in front of you as well. All right, the first thing we wanna do is write a statement illustrating the two-point postulate for the diagram on the previous slide. So here's what I think I would write. All right, our two-point postulate says that through any two points there exists exactly one line. So I'm gonna make my statement simply specific to the diagram that we have. Through any two points are specifically points B and C, and there exists exactly one line, specifically on our diagram, there exists line L. Okay, the next example we wanna write is the plane intersection postulate. So I might write a statement that looks like this. So the plane intersection postulate says that the intersection of two planes is a line. So specific to my diagram, the intersection of plane P and plane Q is line K. Finally, I'm going to write the plane point postulate. Okay, my plane point postulate says that a plane contains at least three non-collinear points. So specific to this diagram, I might say that plane P contains the three non-collinear points A, B, and C. All right, our final example problem of this video, uh, we're asked to use this diagram that we see here to, de to determine if we can assume the following statements. And on the next slide, there are five statements that we're going to see if we can assume from this diagram. So keep this picture handy uh, as we look at the statements on the next slide. All right, the first statement says points A, B, and F are collinear. Let me go ahead and look at the diagram and then we'll come back to this slide. Okay, the statement says points A, B, and F are collinear. I'm gonna say that yes, we can assume that's true because I can see a line connecting those three points, A, B, and F. So my answer to A is yes. Okay, now look at the next statement. Points E, B, and D are collinear. Now the difference here is we've got points, so we've got three points, This is that's a similar part. Here's E, here's B, and here's D, and it looks like those points could be in a straight line. Unfortunately, there is not a line drawn that is actually connecting those points. Since we don't see a line there, we cannot assume those points are collinear. And again, since we didn't see a line connecting points E, B, and D, we have to say, no, we cannot assume those are collinear. The next statement is, line AB is perpendicular to plane S. Okay, line AB is right here. It's the line from statement A that we were talking about. Uh, plane S is this plane that's kind of horizontally going through here. And notice that right here, we've got this right angle box. Because that box is illustrated in the diagram, yes, we can assume that that line is perpendicular to plane S. If that box was not marked in the diagram, we would not be able to assume perpendicular. All right, so is line AB perpendicular to plane S? The answer is yes. Okay, the next statement, line CD is perpendicular to plane T. So from the last statement, we know what we're looking for. Let's see if we can find it. Okay, line CD, I'm gonna offer an, an, a different color here for this. Line CD is this line right here. Plane T is right here. 
And notice that nowhere do I see any sort of like right angle box connecting those two, um, those two things, the, the line and the plane. And since I don't see that right angle box, I cannot assume that they are perpendicular. They might be, but they might not be. And uh, without that visual clarification, I cannot assume that. All right, so CD, line CD, perpendicular to plane T. Got to hit it with a no. All right, the last one, line AF intersects line BC at point B. Let's take a look. Okay, line AF, that's this line right here. I know color is getting hard to see. I'll kind of go off the side of the line a little bit. So we've got that line right there. Uh, line BC is this line here. And the statement says that those two lines intersect at point B. They intersect right there. That point is labeled as point B. So I think we're pretty safe to assume that that statement is true. All right, so finally, line AF intersects line BC at point B. We are going to say that is a yes. Okay, that concludes our video on lesson 2.3 titled Postulates and Diagrams. I hope you found this video helpful. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, please feel free to drop them in the comment section below. I want to thank you for watching all the way to the end of this video, and I'll catch you in the next one.